Hello, I'm Melde from runningexpert.com and I'm here out in the woods with one of the best trail runners in Denmark, Simon Gramstup. Hi. Hi. Thank you for meeting me. That's nice to yeah. be here. Uh, Simon, can you tell me a little bit about what is trail running? Well, trail running is actually what what I do and it's, it's running in the woods on the small trails and the gravel and sometimes off trail. Yeah, so it's just running off asphalt. And if I want to get started doing trail run, what should I focus on? Oof. I can tell you what you shouldn't focus on. You shouldn't focus on your pace, but focus on just being out here, enjoying, and maybe for training, looking at how long you want to go out. Say, okay, I want to run for half an hour. And maybe that's only like free case mm. <laughs> if it's like very yeah. hilly and um, just enjoy. I could imagine that being out here is a little bit of an, an adventure. It feels like it every time I go out. Yeah. It's not like an adventure, like, uh, but it's like an experience to experience how nature is today yeah. and, and what I'll see. Yeah. So, And if I want to get started, can I just... Uh, jump in my regular running shoes? Should I uh, buy something else? Clothes, shoes? What do you think? Oh, there's gear for everything, but, but as a beginner, I, I'd just maybe just the first couple of times go out in your your normal running shoes. And I, and if you get, I hope you get into it, then buy some, some trail running shoes. Definitely. Yeah. Actually, we, we, uh, we're wearing uh, some Scott Super Trek RC2 yes. uh, trail shoes right now. And I haven't been using my trail shoes that much. Can you tell me a little bit about what does this shoe do? It helps you in, in, on the trails. And this is a really good all-round shoe. Uh, it's good for muddy conditions and for rocks and everything. So the big difference is on the sole. You have a really good grip. Um, this is like a, a 360 grip. You can see how the pattern is. Yes. The um, midsole is not so high, but still has some cushion. So if you go on a gravel road or a little bit of asphalt, it's also okay. And then um, the height between the front and the back is not so 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 big. It's like four millimeters. So it's not like a, a road running shoes is like this, but on a, on a trail running shoes, you get more like into zero drop. Because you need more uh, relation in, with the underground. Uh... Yeah, you, you need more. Yeah, contact yeah, you or need relation to feel it. To yeah, feel it. Yeah, 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 exactly. And and um, this shoe I like a lot because it's very doable. Yeah. Uh, a lot of trail running shoes I've been running in, they wear out too early, okay. in my opinion. But, yeah. but this one is is uh, doable. Also in like really rough conditions where yeah. you you run a lot of off trail. Yeah. I also do orienteering running and yeah. So it's it's a really good shoe and it's like a climate yeah. shield. This one so. Um, it looks like your feet will get really hot in it, yeah. but it doesn't. Okay. So the Swiss company Schuller that made this, uh, I don't know, but they made magic on that fabric. I hope that uh, makes you want to do a lot of trade runs in your local area. Go out there, hit the trails. Yeah. yeah.